The second C, boys. So many players are still in the second C. Before you go into the third C and before the next update, which is a big one, let's talk about the five must-have items from the second C. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video, guys. Use code MAGIC, subscribe, all those good things. Comment down below if you would like a chance to win the permanent dough fruit. We're going to do this pretty much every video. 5k likes, I'll give away a dough fruit to someone in the comment section. All I'll do is I'll pick a comment randomly and then I will send you a friend request on Roblox. That's how you'll know. So just keep an eye on your friend requests. We're going to keep doing that all the way until the update finally comes out. Now, let's get started. There actually was pretty hard to find five things that I think you have to have no matter what in the second C. A lot of them are honorable mentions. You don't necessarily need them. So number five, the least necessary one, I think is the Asidum rifle. It's really, really good, especially if you want to get into PvP. It's, it's great for messing with people. I think it has the highest single shot damage of any gun in the game you can see i do not use mine i don't really pvp but if you are someone who's considering pvp this is worth picking up i believe you have a 10 percent chance to get it as a drop whenever you complete the factory raid it's really kind of easy to get so just get it one day whenever you're just randomly playing the game number four guys is an accessory a pretty important one too it's up here once you talk to this guy then give him any devil fruit worth more than I think a million belly. So quake fruit or better. He'll unlock this door. You could go in here and you could fight the swan boss where you can get yourself the swan glasses. Pretty awesome accessory. They give 25% movement speed, 8% damage on all attacks, 8% cooldown, which means after you use a skill, its cooldown is 8% faster. You can use it 8% more often. Plus 8% defense against all attacks. It gives you 250 health and 250 energy. It's a legendary. And it has like a 2.5% drop chance. 5% if you've got the double drop chance game pass. Definitely worth getting if you're looking for a bit of a power up. Number three, I think a super important one because it's great in PvP and PvE is the superhuman fighting style. You'll have to have already gotten Dragon Breath from the second C and of course masteried all the fighting styles from the first C. But then you can come to these double islands here. Come to the back near these guys right here, the Winter Warriors. Jump down over the back here and you'll see a little doorway. You could go in here and talk to this guy and unlock Superhuman. Superhuman is also great for movement if you're using something like Buddha because it has two movement skills. I think number two is probably the most obvious one, but also a little bit controversial. If you're using Buddha to level up, you don't actually need this one and you can completely ignore it. But if you want to go with what is widely considered the fastest way to get to max level, and I mean, if you're in the second C, the only thing that should matter is getting to max level. You should get an Awakened Devil Fruit, particularly the Awakened Light Fruit. Everybody knows how to awaken a fruit out here at the laboratory. It's pretty straightforward, and I think it's very important. It's a massive power-up, especially if you're grinding with the Light Fruit. It's just so good. Let's do the honorable mentions. These are things that are not necessarily, but are awesome to have them if you have them if you want to do lore raids find a fist of darkness and get the brain and all those sort of things the cyborg race is a really great race to have late game especially when you want to start doing end game pvp it adds so much damage to your combos another honorable mansion is to talk to this guy once you've got the water key from the tide keeper over there and get yourself shark man karate it's the evolution of water kung fu so you'll have to obviously mastery that up first all the way to 400 but you got superhuman so you should already have it next up feels a little bit predictable this one but it is the death step exact same situation you don't necessarily need it but it is really great to have and it's very powerful you'll need 400 dark step mastery and you just have to get the library key off the ice admiral boss that spawns here and then talk to this one purchase it 5,000 fragments 2,000 uh 2.5 million belly exactly the same as shark man which i didn't mention the cost of i won't go and show you guys the next one but obviously hockey color is something bonus you can do it's not important at all but it, i guess it kind of makes you feel more legitimate as an end game player to have more than just the default hockey second last of our honorable mentions is to talk to the strongest god here so would you take my slingshot i've actually never purchased it 
So um, now I have the kombucha, which is great because I kind of need it. It is meant to be very, very good for PvP. And if I'm being totally honest with myself, as much as I hate to say it, possibly the biggest waste of time, but also awesome bonus item you can get in the second C is uh, <laughs> the true triple katana. It's very good for PvP. Most of the swords that you get in order to unlock true triple katana are also good in PvP, but it is a very big time sink. And I don't know if it's worth your time anymore when you could get better swords easier in the third C. I almost forgot this honorable mention, but if you really feel and like working for it, you can get the accessory that Darkbeard drops. The black coat is very, very good, but it's a lot of work to the point where I still haven't bothered to get it. And now finally, the big number one, race version two and race version three. This is especially important since we have Race Awakenings coming in the next update. Now, of all of these, if you're still trying to max, you definitely want Mink version 3. Move faster, awesome. But you also probably want to get Human version 2, I believe, because version 2 Human will give you a permanent extra dodge when you're using your Observation Haki, even when you change race. So right now, I'm obviously Fishman, but I have an extra dodge because I have human version 2. So getting human version 2 is also a really good idea. But definitely get version 3 of whatever race you're running. Whether it's for PvP, whether it's for PvE. It's a big power up. And you've got to have these abilities like water body and so on now. To escape combos when PvPing. And the mink one just makes you faster so it's easier to get around while you're grinding stuff to max level so i showed you guys race version 2 was over there in little garden and then race version 3 is here's the big tree with the flowers we're at the back here we run in the secret little door and we talk to this guy a lot of the race quests version 3 are really easy like mink is you just have to collect a bunch of chests without logging out which is pretty easy to do even on a public server if you got the door fruit you could actually just door the doghouse and there you are all righty guys i think that's everything that you need to get from the second c plus a bunch of honorable mentions that are all like additional homework when you've completed the second c maybe completed the third c and you want to come back let me know in the comment section down below if you think i missed anything that you use regularly to play this game and that other players definitely need to get if your comment is really good i'll pin it in the comment section down below don't forget 5,000 likes will give away a dough fruit to someone who comments you've also got to leave a like you have to be subscribed with post notifications turned on in order to win use code magic when buying robux Check out my UGC and I guess I will see you all next time, boys. The new update, it's getting close. They're working on a trailer. We're nearly there.